to another episode of Art Survival Evolved. Well, today we are looking at armor, but we're not looking at armor stats today. We are looking at the armor durability. Uh, so what what exactly does that mean? It means how long your armor lasts. What are we going to be doing with it? We're basically going to look at exactly how does the armor change from being attacked. Does it get take more by taking more damage? Do you lose more armor, or does it matter at all? And it's just individual bites. Uh, the number of bites takes down your armor. So we're going to find out uh, once and for all, does durability last better uh, by just being bit by a weak animal or does a larger, stronger animal uh, cause more damage and, and remove your armor quicker? I've got two suits ready for this video. They're both standard flat and they're going to go against two different Rexes with two different values of uh, melee just to see how long the armor will last versus each Rex. Alright, so I will bring you all back once I get it going. Alright guys, so one of the first things I wanted to uh, explain is that falling damage does not damage your armor. If you didn't know that already, when you fall you do not damage your armor. You may have ever, never even noticed that your armor never breaks when you're falling. Or you may have noticed that but just wondered, huh, maybe I just it wasn't at that point. Well, falling definitely does not damage the armor. The armor maintains the exact same values no matter what, as you can see right there. This is not the armor we'll be using though, just so you know. Alright guys, so we're going to do it right outside here since the copies had to bother us up there. Um, basically what I wanted to show you at this point was the armor we're using is basically all the same, although we are using one piece of Riot, not Riot, Ramshackle, uh, which is slightly stronger and more durable. Uh, you can see 186 versus your normal 120 plated armor. I think the chest piece is also the same. Yeah, all this breaks at 120, this breaks at 186. So we're going to find out real quickly if the number of bites makes the difference and also do you lose armor as a whole does it average it out or does a more durable piece last longer than the rest of your armor does it share its durability where all that lies that's what we're going to be looking at here so I'm going to spawn a low level wretch to do the first eating frenzy after we put on some armor alright there we go and oh my god pretty as it is but you can see 12 12 and we can even look at the armor as we do it armor value and you watch them tick down because we're in this infinite stat mode we're not running we can monitor it you see 120 damage and you can see the damage counter counting down three points and if you look at every single piece three i mean they are yeah they're holding the same values all as one except for the wreck uh, that, that one how much armor is it 34 Basically, we should be 60 some up, uh, 66 points ahead in this break, give or take. Yep, it fit exactly where it is. The pants is the only thing that survived that. So right off the bat, we can tell uh, this Rex will break all our armor at this uh, after just chomping on it, which is exactly what we should see. We can see that it all loses at the same value. So sometimes when your pieces break, your boots break, or your pants break, it's because you receive damage and fixed pieces over time. Maybe they have a little more durability than others, and so everything's just kind of off-center. So that's why sometimes a piece of armor breaks, and just the one piece versus the rest. Put them at 1,500 meters. There we go. Now you can see right here, now this guy is definitely going to have more damage. And the armor is falling apart much faster, it looks like. Yes, it's falling apart much, much faster. Yep, you can see, definitely see it's chomping away. And again, the armor is losing values at the exact same portion. You can see right here the bars are all moving together. And we'll lose this again at about 60 seconds. Alright, so that does basically answer the question, how does your armor work? Alright guys, so after doing that art science, we can definitely see a few things about armor. Armor basically does not break uh, by tier or anything like that. It breaks by damage. And a higher hitting dinosaur is going to break your armor much quicker than a weaker hitting dinosaur. So higher durability is definitely going to help no matter what. But basically, the higher level of a dinosaur you're going to see, the much quicker your armor is going to break and the much faster you're going to lose it. So if you're fighting something that's going to one hit your armor anyway, you might just might as well put on flak. Uh, uh, basic flak or something along those lines. Uh, but you now can see tiers don't matter. Ascended armor has no damage resistance increase versus others other than the basic points of armor. No matter what that wretch is going to destroy that armor at the exact same rate as another. So high durability is very, very important. 
the quality of it being ascended mastercraft does not matter that makes absolutely no difference to the durability of the armor and basically you're going to lose all armor values will lose at the same rate uh, other than that um, you can definitely see a weaker one hits for less but that's going to be it you guys take care and I'll catch you next time